Hello friends, welcome back to another video. So Kai is finishing his internship today. So we're gonna go out and celebrate. So today we're gonna be doing thanks. Today we're going to be doing a date night sort of look, except it's gonna be not super intense. So a more natural sort of date night look, a more lazy kind of date night look. Yeah, that's the vibe we're going for, a lazy date night. I thought today, instead of going for something uh, more expected, something more akin to what you might see on your everyday IG page, I recently found this makeup artist, beauty guru, insta, makeup artist, influencer, beauty guru, all that jazz, called Visible June. And she does this look that I really enjoy. So we're gonna do that because I think it's a little more unexpected. What am I doing? It's a little more unexpected than the everyday look. So we're gonna do that today. So let's just get started. I don't think I was in focus for that first part so I paused and moved away. I also think like my glasses are probably distracting from being able to let the camera to focus on my face. So Hopefully it's a little better, but I'll keep checking because my camera doesn't have a viewfinder. I've already washed my hands, my beauty blender is ready to go, my face is moisturized, and I dropped my foundation. Great. We're going to be using the Colourpop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer because I'm not going to be wearing makeup for a very long while today, so I don't really need anything too long lasting. I'm putting very little foundation. I'm literally using the leftovers of the foundation. My hand, the back of my hand is gone uh, on my nose because I wear glasses. I don't have contacts. So to keep the makeup from smudging too much on this area, I try to wear less there. Let's move on to concealer. We're going to take, I've, I've done like similar videos. Y'all probably can tell. I'm going to take the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Concealer. You use that strictly just under my eye bags. Uh, under my eye bags? For my eye bags. That's all I'm doing. I'm actually running out of this. I already bought its replacement. Sorry, my camera dropped. My mirror dropped. I already bought its replacement, but I'm just gonna use this up for all it's worth before I move on to its replacement. My skin's not doing so great, so we're gonna help it out. Extra, there's some extra coverage here. I'm going to leave this spot alone because generally I don't wear things that have full coverage enough to actually cover blemishes to the point that you can't see them and generally they wear off pretty fast for me because for your skin, texture, whatever. So the best is just not to do that and just to leave it as is. I'm going to ah, see. I'm going to take the Innisfree Smart Blusher. Smart drawing blusher here in the color peach coral I'm placing the blush a little higher on my cheeks because I wear glasses so this area I try to avoid wearing putting too much makeup there because it will smear it also occurs like in the reference photo visible June and her blush placement a little higher so it looks a little more Japanese beauty style, where you have Japanese e-girl beauty style where you have to blush right under your eye and I'm just gonna cut that in. If you are doing this at home, you don't know, I don't know why you would. If you're doing this, you can choose to keep layering this or use a blush that has 
stronger pigment but I'm not going to, I'm quite satisfied with this and I don't think the blush will take very well to layering so I'm using the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in am I using? in Sunkissed I also realized I've got to put blush on my nose. So I'm gonna do that. I don't put it directly on my nose, like I said, because this part will be covered by my glasses and I recently changed my specs. So now they're made of a heavier plastic and it kind of made my face sweat a little more. So instead I'm just going to keep it like to the tip of my nose, but not the tip, like this part. I don't know anatomy. And then what's what with whatever's left over on my brush on the bronzer, bron bronzer can't talk on the bronzer. I'm just gonna powder with that. So I'm gonna move on to the eyes. Where's my eyebrow pencil? I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty. Sorry. I'm sorry if you can hear that. That's construction outside. But yes, I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Brow MVP and basically I'm not going to draw my brows back on, I'm just going to emphasize the, the arch of it and I don't I actually really like the fact that I shaped my brows. I think that's a little weird, all things considered, but I feel that like it, I just find it so fun. Because now I get to wake up in the morning and be like, huh, how should my brows look today? Are they going to be short? Are they going to be long? How are they going to look? And I think that's really fun for me every day. If I emphasize how short they are, people get freaked out. Because they're like, what happened to your face? And I'm like, I don't know, man, I shaved my fucking brows off. I am satisfied with that. No eyeliner, but she is wearing thick eyelashes. I don't have the same kind of thick eyelashes and I don't wear them on a typical basis. So I'm gonna skip that. I am just going to use the, 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 I'm gonna use the Glossier, Glossy, I'm gonna use the Glossier Lash Lick for my mascara and also why I pop the leftover on my brows. I'm going to powder my face now. My usual, the Laura Mercier some powder yes and that's it I am done Hooray. thank you for watching this video I'm always very glad when any of you decide to give me like a little bit of your time. So thanks I guess. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.